Hi friends, welcome to our channel. Today we are going to discuss rupee to drop further to 82.50 against dollar by year end pull. Before entering to the topic, please subscribe to our channel. The Indian rupee will fall further against the US dollar over the rest of the year. A Reuters pool on Thursday showed setting of the currency for its steepest annual decline in at least 9 years due to a widening domestic trade balance and surging US interest rates. The rupee slipped to a record low of 83.2150 on Thursday. It is likely to fall further to 84.50 by December. According to the main and median forecasts of a pool of 14 bankers and foreign exchange advisors. The South Asian currency has already tumbled about 12% so far this year, equaling its drop over the whole of 2013 when the US Federal Reserve's decision to slow bond purchases prompted a bold sell-off in emerging market currencies. The estimates in the pool ranged between 83.25 and 86, showing a broad consensus that the rupee would not recover this year. By December, the rupee could fall up to 85 levels as we do not see any major changes in the external environment, said Madan Sabnavis, chief economist at Bank of Baroda. The dollar is continuing to trend higher and our local fundamentals remain weak. We are expecting India's current account deficit CAD at 3% to 3.50%. The rise in the current account deficit comes as India runs a high trade deficit when the global economic scenario is not conductive to portfolio flows, putting the rupee under pressure. India reported an average monthly trade deficit of $23.2 billion for the first nine months of this year compared to an average of $15.3 billion in 2021. Meanwhile, capital flows have been hampered by the Fed's aggressive rate hikes to contain inflation. The Fed's hike have led to a near 18% jump in the dollar index this year and has prompted investors to pull out capital from emerging market assets. Foreign investors have taken out $23.4 billion from Indian equities and $1.4 billion from debit so far this year, according to data from NSDL. Next. Asian pain shares drop after September quarter results fall below expectations. Asian Paints India's largest paints company reported September quarter results that were below street expectations. The company's revenue increased 19.8% from last year to 8,458 crore rupees. A CNBC TV 18 pool had pegged the figure at 8,900 crore rupees. Despite the rise in the company's operating profit and margin, both figures turned out to be below what the street anticipated. EBI TDA increased 33% year on year to 1219.3 crore rupees. However, the figure turned out to be lower than the ENBC TV18 pool of 1583 crore rupees. EBI TDA margin expanded 170 basis points to 14.4%, a big miss compared to the 17.8% estimates. Net profit also increased 33% from last year to 803.8 crore rupees. That figure was also below the estimate of 1075 crore rupees. The company reported a 200 basis points decline in gross margin compared to the June quarter. When compared to the same period last year, gross margin is up 100 basis points. The company has previously rated that it wants to maintain its margin around the 18 to 21% mark over the medium term. Asian Paints has undertaken four price hikes over the last 12 months. Shares of Asian paints slipped from the day's high and are currently trading 
2.4 percent lower at 3136.65 rupees so friends i hope you all understand if you like my explanation please like share and subscribe to our banking news channel thanks for watching